It's like when you when you're when you're not eating. Yeah. It's a phrase. Like I, I was I, I was working in my my homework. I was working on my my job. I was working on a project. Working on the science experiment. I couldn't eat. Lightning struck, and all of a sudden the I, the answer came to me. Oh shit! Well, yeah. when did lightning struck? Well, how did yeah. lightning strike so that the answer would come to you? I got doused with some chemicals. Yeah, it's not weird. You get it? Do you know about that um, government thing where it's like there's oh, there's this guy who they paid not to speak about it. That apparently there's like a hole in the side of I don't know if it's a Bermuda Triangle and it goes into the earth and it's like a more techno like logical civilization. Not real. Yeah, not real. I wanted to know what you thought about that. I don't think it's real either. But like, I, mean, I know it's not real. Yeah. There's a problem. Like, I pay atten- I pay attention to details, not just on the internet. There's yeah. a dark net, uh, mill dot org. Oh man, there's so much shit on there. Like mill dot org emails and stuff and communications oh, cool. on mill dot org is. I'll have to have a look at it. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't ask anything. No, don't ask anything. These are my friends, by the way. They're really big fan of you. Um, uh, you right, I'm, I'm going to bring someone else on for some questions. All right, cool, man. It was nice talking to you. God bless you. Have a great day, See sir. You See you later. Who's at the top? Ooh, the legendary Fuhrer. I met this person. What's up, Martin? Or oh, you combed your hair or something. Oh, yeah. I just got out of the shower. So, yeah. My okay, guys, this is what he looks like clean. Remember it. We don't see it very often. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so it looks like today's the day. I'm going to try to debate you now. So, that'll be cool. Okay. All right. So, I don't know. But, like, could you, like, um, post this on your IG uh, page after this so then I can, like, look back at it? Well, somebody's streaming it. You should be able to stream it. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to save this one or not because it bogs down my thing. Okay. But I um, mean, I might. We'll see because they're so long. If that makes sense. But okay. what are we debating? What's the subject? Um, is the Messiah real? My my statement is that he he is. Your statement is that. Well, here's the, I, here's the thing. I never said the Messiah wasn't yeah, real. Christ, but I never said the Messiah wasn't real. What I'm saying is the the Messiah from the Roman e- e- era. Is literally just the story from Judaism about the sun. They just, you don't speak Jewish, so you don't know. They literally, in Judaism, they went, the sun in the sky turns water into wine. The sun in the sky sacrifices itself on a cross to give you, that's how they taught. You just don't know that. And in Judaism, they teach it today. Everything you're taught about Jesus Christ was taught in Judaism prior to the Romans teaching it was Jesus. And it's still taught today. So you ask, why don't you believe in Jesus? Hebrews, but we still teach the information you're taught that teaches you about Jesus is natural sciences that we teach our young Hebrews so they can go to school to get a doctorate degree in biology, neuroscience, human biology, you know, every like you know, just fields of they're like it's just science, yeah. but Christians aren't taught it. Okay, so so then I go, well, let's find out is it real science? Does the light of the world sacrifice itself on a cross over from energy? into the matter that is your daily bread and your last supper. Are the Hebrews right? Does the sun do those things? Yeah. And that's, and that's something I'll be challenging you today about, I guess. Um, you see, and that's what I'm getting at. You want to debate me, but we already know all of those miracles are just natural science. It's so much so even Christianity teaches. Mm-hmm. These first sips of natural sciences, when you come to our science academy, will make you no longer believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. But if you continue, you'll find God. I mean, think Christianity teaches that. You won't believe in Jesus if you study science. You go, why? Well, because science proves something else that all those miracles. They were talking about something else. We can prove it. And you go, ah, I don't believe you. Prove it. And then they go down and go, see, natural sciences. And you go, I don't want to do it anymore. And look, Christians go, I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. How de- I, I, they get mad. I'm done. Okay. Um, I'm ready to. And that's why, you got, that's why I go to kids. I got you. You know, to- younger generations. I, I've noticed people over 30 years old go, the sun does not give me my daily bread, my last supper. Jesus Christ did that. And you go, where, where does your bread come from then? They, literally, Jesus Christ. I go, where did, the, where, did the, where did you get it from the store? They go, the store got it from a farmer. The farmer got it from the field. How did it get in the field? Did the light of the world sacrifice itself on a cross over from energy into the matter that is that wheat in a field? They go, no, Jesus put it there. I'm like, oh my God. So you talk to, then I talk to you. Does the light, the quantum field theory, does the light of the world turn into your daily bread? And you, kids go, yeah, it's basic science. Okay. It's yeah. adults. The, the adults just go, ah! 
Yeah, they, and they they're literally they're like, "You're Satan." They try to kill me sometimes. It's fucking nuts. I'm literally for just telling, like, look at the sun giving your daily bread. I've had pastors at churches like have a psychotic break and try to kill me in front of their congregation, and then they just pass it off as I was a I was a, I was attacked by a demon. You guys witnessed me. Literally, they're like, "You witnessed a demon take over my body." I would never want to kill Martin. It was a demon. So which one of my and then they go, which one of you, which one of you guys in our congregation brought a demon into my church to possess me while Martin was talking to me? I'm just like, oh, my God. No, that's not what happened. You got mad. Like you you lost it psychologically and then you blamed it on a demon because your church believes in demons. Yeah, <laughs> you, like, I'm not mad. Right. Legendary for you. Tell, you tell me the light of the world. And give me my daily bread. I'm not mad when I tried to kill you for saying that it was a demon that possessed me. Well, you were the demon in your body. You possessed yourself. Yeah. Now you're getting something. Sure, I'm like the pastors. You just told me you were a demon. They get mad. I'm like, no. I said a demon possessed me. I'm like, well, you're the only thing in your body. You possessing yourself. You're possessing that carbon vessel. You're the demon. Mm, okay. Um, I'm ready to make my first statements. Uh, okay. Go. Statements that I have for okay. the Jesus Christ that sits on this cross here. Uh, my first mm -hmm. statement is that before you said in the past that. The the hieroglyphs on the pyramids um, inscribed by escaped slaves from Egypt uh, were were retelling the stories of Jesus Christ. Therefore, um, those stories, not of Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, not of Jesus Christ. The stories that the Catholic Church has written as Jesus Christ, correct? There we go. Yes. Okay. But in a different, so you don't find the right one. Now we're going to get somewhere. There's a body of light that does sacrifice. It does everything they speak of. But it's yeah. if you find it, you go. It's not just Christian. It's Hindu. It's not just Hindu. It's Buddhism. It's not just Buddhas. It's Greek. It's not just Greek. It's it's all the Alpha and the Omega. It's all one. Okay. It's well, all one. Yeah. So my argument on that was, you said that we have to read these hieroglyphs to understand that this is where all the stories that they're getting from about Jesus Christ right here. Yeah, it exists on pyramids today. Yeah. Um, my question for you is, have you read these hieroglyphs to understand? Yeah. Were you there? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I didn't. So when I, I when I, then this is the problem. I was a kid and I'm still, you know, they didn't, they didn't think I would take anything different away. So they go here, here's some hieroglyphs. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't mean anything. It, it, you know, you know, it, or th this means this. And you go, no, raw, you know, it doesn't, you know, one word raw, you know, means a million different things. And I have to use it in the context. Like, raw like raw was what you what you what you said how is my the food like literally in egypt raw food was raw right the sun gave you raw power raw was used for the sun was used for your food was used for mixing things like raw was used all over so you, you go what context they go well we'll just we're going to pick out of the hundred things that raw means we're just going to tell legendary fear it means this so we can dictate his conversation okay we can, or we can dictate what he believes. Well, why can't you give him all 40 meanings so that he has everything to know what they mean, not what you believe it means? Go ahead. Uh, I need you and Jordan to go to the ground. Everything in front of my truck, go into the van and the red ladder. Okay. Right now, I'm going to take off five minutes. All right, you continue. So um, that, that's all. Basically, that's all I'm saying. Uh, the words that you, you're given, they mean many, many different things, not just what you're told. Okay. And we just don't tell you that. Yeah, a Greek word means this, but it also means 20 other things. And the meaning we're giving you doesn't actually uh, mean what what we told you it meant in the context that you've been given. It means something completely different, but you don't know that because you don't know all the – right, today, you know, dog just means dog, right? Yeah. When they wrote the Torah, dog – meant a hundred different things. So when I said dog, what am I talking about? The dog or the other things that it meant? You don't know, do you? Until yeah. I give you everything. And that's why I talk about when, when they talk about this stuff, the, the, the towers of Babel, that's why it was Babel. We can, each picture, each word means 50 different things. So I can pick each, each word. I go, there's 50 things I can change it to. Yep. Babel. I can change the original paragraph into 50 different paragraphs. Yeah. And it means 50 different things depending on how you tell somebody. Well, th that's very important, don't you think? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very important to tell somebody. Could you give me a moment? Um, I'll get back to yeah. you quick. Yep. I got to do something. No problem. God bless.
when there's nobody on here. It won't let me. Let me see. It won't. It won't let me bring anybody on. So I'm gonna have to start this over. I'll, I'll be back. I gotta. Re, I gotta restart the live feed. I'm gonna take a leak and then I'll be back on in just a second. And I'll. I'll bring you guys on in a sec. Hold on. It's. 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 He's left, but the the hang up. It, it, my connection still thinks he's still on there. There's a lag, so I can't. I, it says one guest at a time. So in order to bring someone new, I gotta start over. I'll be right back. 